Hey y'all. Um, happy Wednesday. It's been a month since I posted. Um, update on the house. We are doing plumbing, <laughs> HVAC, and electricity is supposed to start Monday. We got approvals from our insurance on three days before Christmas, in case I didn't share with y'all. So that's been a huge blessing um, from Jesus. What I've been learning recently, faith. And in Hebrews chapter 11, every time we see faith, we see action behind it. And it isn't easy, especially coming up on one year. Um, it makes you think, is it going to happen again in tornado season? Will we go through something similar? And I've asked the question, you know, like, would you do it again? And my response is yes. Do I want to? No. <laughs> um, like, let's just be honest. Who wants to go through that again? But would I do it again and willfully do it again if it brought Jesus glory and what it's done? Yes. Because I now see things through a whole different lens that I didn't see before. And God has taught me so much and has taught our family a lot as well. And no, it's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you and pretend like it is because it's definitely not. But it was worth it. And so faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Plain English. God said in his word that he was going to do something. Hupspa is the Hebrew for faith. And it's almost in like a negative connotation today in Hebrew culture, but it means stubbornness, like be super hardcore holding on to. And so it's holding on to God's promises, even when we don't necessarily see them, but we know that they're going to happen because God said they're going to happen. And it's holding on to that. And God never said that we weren't going to be without trials on this earth because we are like, that's part of it. But he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said he's going to, that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. He promises that if we wait on the Lord, he will, those who wait on the Lord, they should mount up like on wings, like eagles. They should run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Like those are promises of God. He promises that he'll supply all of our needs. And I've seen that time and time and time again in this storm. So where the question comes up, will it happen again? I can't answer that. Nor am I going to attempt to. But I have faith that when the storm does come, Jesus is there and that it's good because he says that he works all things together for good to those who love him and those who are called according to his purpose. And I know I'm loved and I know I'm called. And that's just something I want to share and encourage y'all with and now you're like, Elizabeth, the storm is good. Well, God uses it for good. Like what Satan means for evil, God uses for good. And I go back to that in the story of Joseph. And I go back to Noah's obedience. I love in Hebrews where it talks about um, that Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen. Like they had never seen rain. They had never seen floods. The ground was watered from dew. So they didn't know what that was. And God said, it's about to pour water from the sky. You need to build an ark. He said, okay, because he believed God. And he became an heir of the righteousness according to faith. And I love that. And I want to be an heir of righteousness according to faith. I want to have faith. I want to be stubborn about the promises of God. And I hope and pray that you want the same. And even in this season where our faith has been very much challenged. Um, and I think I can speak for all of us in that, not in the necessarily in the sense of like, okay, God, like I completely doubt you and everything's like done and no, but in the sense of like, what are you doing here? And like where our faith has really been tested is probably a better word to, way to put it. It's like our faith has really been tested. Like I want to be found faithful and I want to hold on um, and have hutzpah. The, the faith to hold on to God. And so in this season where it's about to get started up again with tornadoes and storms and all the funness that this 
crazy weather brings, may we have faith that even if the storm does come, God's going to see us through it one way or the other, that he works together, works all things together for good to those who love him and those who are called according to his purpose.